How's it going guys? Joey Ducat here from CSC and in today's video we're going to run you through how to install your steel fenders on your 26 inch FT750. So the tools you're going to need to install your fenders. Now in addition to the 5mm Allen and the 8 and 10mm wrench which are supplied with your FT750, you're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver and an 8 and 10mm socket with a ratchet. So all the necessary hardware for installing your fenders is included. You have your front L brackets, screws and nuts for your front fender struts. You have your long six millimeter bolts for your rear fender, washers, and nuts. And you have your rear six millimeter screws for your rear fender struts. So when installing the front fender, the first step is to install your L brackets on the bottom of the forks. On the left side, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter nut, which you use your 10 millimeter wrench to remove. And on the right side is going to be a 5mm Allen, which you're going to use your 5mm Allen to remove. Now here's a tip. On the right side, you want to lock out your suspension by turning the dial completely counterclockwise to prevent the pressurized cartridge from collapsing when you remove the bottom bolt and you just install the L brackets using the stock hardware. Using a 10 millimeter socket and wrench, remove the bolt attaching the headlight to the fork crown. Carefully fish the fender struts from the rear of the forks to the front. Attach the fender bracket using the stock hardware from the rear of the fork crown. Attach the fender struts to the L brackets using the Phillips screws and nuts. Now minor adjustments will be necessary to ensure that the fender is straight and is not rubbing the tire. Installing the rear fender, place it over the rear tire with the struts to the rear. Using a 10 millimeter wrench and socket, install the long six millimeter bolts with washers and nuts through the holes in the frame. Using a Phillips screwdriver, attach the fender struts to the top threaded holes in the frame. Again, minor adjustments will be necessary to ensure that your fenders are straight and are not rubbing the tire. Now, if you feel you can't perform any of these steps, please bring your bike to a bike shop for a professional to install them. But after installing your bike, please make sure that all the fasteners are tight and go out and ride. Please like, subscribe for more future videos from CSC. And we'll see you on the trails.